based on me. But if you a pastor and you don't have, you're not watching my page, you're not watching what I'm doing, how are you talking about me? Why am I a factor to you if God told you to do this? How is, how, make it make sense, please. She all on there this morning talking about somebody 50 years old they broke they ain't got no money they ain't got no job all they got is a closet full of tennis shoes come on now y'all i just moved in this apartment i just moved in this apartment i just posted the picture with nothing but ones it's all of course it's, uh, it's nothing, it's not done in decent and order. It's not worshiping God in spirit and truth. She a, yeah, she a hater. It's not worshiping God in spirit and truth. You robbing these people because you say God gave you a, the prophetic number seven for people to show seven dollars. You came at me about me not sowing enough into your ministry. Three years ago, it was so seven. Now here it is. Three years later, it's so 37. You didn't put a three in front of the seven that God told you to ask for people. What make it make sense to me? God is not telling you nothing. You're doing what you want to do because your head got big and you seen how the money was running in when they when you told people to sell seven dollars. You seen how much money you accumulated. And now and here it is. The last two years we'd have been in a whole pandemic. We'd have been in a whole pandemic. And here it is. You didn't raise the money up. Because the money is not going for nothing that has to do with that building, which is not a church. Because church starts right here. And Jamila Hart is not right. So she can't be a pastor. How are you going to be an ordained pastor? You don't have a covering. That's why all of that stuff that she does, she can do it because she don't have nobody to warn her. She don't have nobody to um, correct her or comfort her. She's all over the place. She's all over the place because she has worldly grief. She is not in tune with God. Anybody can get up there and speak. Anybody can pick up a Bible and read it. And we all know she don't read it. She don't know the word of God. She can't know the word of God if she get up there and read half a scripture and then go to screaming and hollering and trying to intimidate people and manipulate people and deceive people with lies. Nothing but lies. I'm here right now on this live. Knowing that God is not pleased. God is not pleased. People better wake up and ask God to remove the scales off of their eyes so they can see spiritually. Because all of those people are being lured away from God instead of led to God. She can't be in tune with God because if she was in tune with God, God would have been correct her. He would have been correct her because she's all out of whack. She's all she's all off course. She's all off course, and that's because she's living worldly. She's speaking worldly because she's not preaching. She's not. She is not. She all out of order. Hey, baby, how you doing? I'm going to talk to you in a minute. But um, I, I just, you know, we, we got to, y'all, let me tell y'all something. The days that we living in, if we don't unify ourselves under this one body of Christ, y'all think it's people that we losing. It's going to be a whole bunch of more people that's close to us that we're going to lose. That's why I pray. That people get right with God. Quit playing with God. Quit playing with God. This is not the time. This is not the time. This is not the place. We are in a whole pandemic with a virus that's going around that's killing people daily. And people want to play church. People want to 
manipulate people out of their money that they don't even have.